this is the the uh, model of the steel frame that we received and I've kind of gone through uh, to check the fit between the skylight and the steel um, I added this green surface so I could reference back to elevation 100 um, that was the easiest way to check everything between the drawings and that all seems to be coming out good um, the height of this tube is at 113 eight and a half um, 124 one and a half uh, we have numbers up here to locate the high point. This work point is elevation 140 zero. That's all going really well on this stairway wall. Um, what I did notice is that the connection for the steel, and these pink bars are, I, I added the skylight bars in, or the, the wall, the vertical wall, the skylight guy. <clears throat> we don't always think about verticals. Uh, so if I call it a skylight, that's all it, it is. Um, there's a knife plate in here and that's how the steel is connected to the column and there's a knife plate and then a base plate that it sits on both of those projecting past the surface of the tube will block the skylight from connecting um, hopefully there's a way that this steel tube can be revised to be flush top and bottom um, maybe you can put an angle on the column here to rest the tube on before you do your welding and maybe recess the knife plate below the top so you're doing a groove weld. Um, as long as it's a flush surface, our bolts will kind of miss the plate, but the frame does want to sit in that same space. So I can't adjust around it because of the detailing. Um, so that needs to be revised on this tube, both ends. They're, they're, uh, it's obstructing Super Sky's work. And the tube above has the same thing at both ends, here and here. Um, as you go up to the top beam, it's close on this side, but I think there's about an inch of space between the skylight and this plate, and we'll just work our connection going the other way. So this one on this column, I think is okay. Unfortunately, over here, there's a problem that I don't know how anybody can fix. Um, what goes on is you got one beam coming through that connects to the column. The beam that the skylight connects to connects to the first beam. And that base plate blocks the skylight connection. Um, we actually would be cut a little bit below the beam. But we still have to put a connection point into that same space. So I'm not sure what on this back side can be altered to make room for the skylight connection. Um, we're going to this beam, but the tube can't hit that plate. So that's a problem on that one column. So please look at on the wall side, that connection and these four where these knife plates and base ledges occur. Those will have to be changed somehow. Coming back to the to the front wall, um, I've kind of looked at everything here, and we have the first tube. It's at the same height as what we have in our drawing, 110 foot zero and a half to the top of the tube. Here, the knife plate doesn't bother the skylight at all. Neither does this ledge. Um, we have a connection at the column, but there will be room for our bolts to kind of get into that little space. Um, I will draw them as tap tools rather than nuts. Uh, we can talk with uh, Granite State and kind of go from there. But so far that looks okay. I think this is all right over here. I didn't look at that one, i got to be honest. Um, but it looks okay to me. So the knife plates on this tube are fine. These three tubes here um, are a little bit different than what we had drawn. But I'll change the skylight to match what's in the model for the elevations and slope of these three tubes right now. Um, and then I'm not going to worry about the roof or any of that other stuff. All I care about is this tube right here, and I'm going to go with the position I'm looking at in the model right there. Unfortunately, the top of this knife plate does block the skylight connection. The bottom doesn't, but just the top. So if that could be ground or cut, to where you're doing a fillet weld on the thickness of the top flange to the plate that would help a lot because then you could take your knife plate a little bit lower and come out 
essentially the same detail it's just rather than a fillet going this side you would be putting it inside the groove um, that would allow us to get our connection in there where it needs to go um, I think where our rafter will fall we'll just clear this plate I haven't checked it completely um, I'll have to get back to you on that one it takes a little bit more time to do but I think that's okay the I-beam is at the same height that we have and then these stiffeners inside they would have been an obstruction to the skylight but I modified the skylight connection to account for that so here's your beam here's the stiffeners this bottom bolt was going to hit that stiffener I've lowered our post down two inches I still don't know where the ceiling comes across hopefully that will conceal this from view because I kind of brought it down below the beam but I don't know what else to do that's here I'm worried if we would move it up one we would cross the splice line which I can't do which is right here so I had to go down um, if I would put it on the other side I'd worry we would get fouled by concrete filling in the column so I, I think we're okay so these connections all work the elevation figures out fine um, I checked the spacing of the columns um, we have everything at uh, 5 and 13 sixteenths these are very some of them are 3 quarter and 1 7 eighths they, they vary a bit but on average they're all matching what we have or within a sixteenth which is fine this tube is at the same height that we had and again there's knife plates and a base plate but that doesn't affect the skylight so these are fine because we're connecting to the face of the tube on this one coming up to this I-beam I think we're going to be okay um, it's matching the slope and the height that we had and the connections should not affect us if I go back one thing that was different was the top of the column projected a little higher but I plugged that into the details and I think we're okay with that that would be this one here so I've drawn the column coming up and the skylight connects here or here or in the middle of this I-beam so the column is fine that doesn't have to change either so I think as the wall goes we're in good shape everything is matching up everything will work together um, when I get to the slope these one two three four five I-beams were supposed to be rotated perpendicular to the slope of glass they're in web vertical and if I go over here hang on a minute I've, ta I've copied a little bit out and you can see the purlins have the angle that they should and these are web vertical so this beam needs to be rotated so the top is in plane with the purlins um, that's going to make a big difference to the skylight it's going to mess up some of the steel connections here but I think um, as we had talked it gives too much movement in the skylight not to do that um, the columns can stay as they are and I would suggest if you take top center of the I-beam um, I kind of added lines in and then rotate this about that point at top center to be in a plane with the purlins uh, we should be all right and then that will all match going up and these connections don't affect the skylight the skylight's got all its connections figured out the quarter by eight inch plate stays on top um, that will give us some room to make connections there these channels are going to be omitted so let's just erase them so they're gone and that channel and all the round posts are gone so we can delete those as well I have gone with a different design and it takes away a lot of obstruction to what we can look at here so the channels come off and there we are now we can see that this pearl in the plate is flush with the tube um, 
these lines that you see here one of them is a wireframe from my skylight drawings one is I just added lines going center to center of all the members and I can compare the lines quicker um, these look like they're working out for connections this one I think will be okay and that leaves us just the tube at the very top right now it's two inches above the slope I think it needs to be pushed down two inches to elevation 140 foot 5 inches that will let us bring the same skylight frame over the top so we can connect here these columns need to be flush with the top of the beam and have a cap plate in them so that we can connect to the top if we need to I think this column and possibly this one will have skylight connections on the column so we need a surface to mount to um, this one too we can connect off the beam here or we can connect there but as long as you're doing these two columns you might as well make all three the same and this guy's got to come down as well um, so the columns in the beam drop two inches and that should bring it to where it'll work with the skylight um, this column went flat horizontal that won't affect the skylight we're connecting here and here so we're not connecting anywhere in this area so hopefully that uh, tells you what to do with the steel I've tried to modify the skylight where I can and make as few changes to the steel as possible um, to recap again you've got the four knife plate connections here to fix this plate here is an obstruction um, everything here is okay we're going to accommodate what happened with the steel here that should work these five I-beams need to be rotated to the plane and this tube right here along the wall needs to drop two inches and those columns get cap plates flush with the beam at elevation 145 uh, let me know if any of this is um, a problem uh, I tried to minimize it if, if we can't do it it's a redesign on both sides and I don't really know where I would go with the skylight revision so I've tried to accommodate as much as we can. Thank you.